Hey there, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. Thank you guys so much for stopping by today. Well, okay. Today I'm excited because after hours and hours of practicing the Queen Walk Minor, it's finally starting to come together. Now, basically, I'm just here to show you that, hey, I mean, remember the old saying, if Galadon can three, the strat's OP. Well, maybe the strat isn't exactly OP because, well, I think there were like 17 attempts before I finally got it done. Now, there are just so many different variables that need to go into an effective Queen Walk Minor attack. You know, the Queen Walk, you've got to watch out for the air defenses, Expos that might get around and get in behind the Queen and take out your healers. Again, single target Infernos are a pretty bad thing for Archer Queens. And uh, that caused a few Rage Quits. And of course, then just getting really deeply into a base and just not quite being able to finish it because you haven't kept the miners up, uh, because maybe the queen walk ended. A lot of these things have to come together for an effective queen walk miner. Like here, the miners are dead, but the queen's fine. If she had another, I don't know, five minutes, she could have gotten the three star, prob but probably. Anyway, so I I'm telling you, so this is the great thing about friendly challenges. The ability to practice over and over and, well, you get the picture. Yeah, a lot of practicing. So. Okay, so we did this in a bunch of friendly challenges, and then we went out to multiplayer in the clouds. Now, remember, the end of the season, six days to 6,000. That is going to be the name of the video series that's going to come during the last six days of the season. And uh, I don't know if it's impossible, but I have noticed already, as a lot of players have pushed to 5,500, 6,000 already this season, being at 5,000 allows me to find bases after maybe only, uh, what, 30 seconds of clouds, 60 seconds of clouds, maybe a couple of minutes. So, you know, at least in the beginning, pushing from 5,000 up at the end of the season during the last week might be effective. Now, okay, we're going to show this Queen Walk Miner as I'm using the wall record to help get the king get entry over here. I tried to funnel. You can kind of see the idea of the funnel, but with a base like this, with a ring base, sometimes that's a little bit more difficult to get an effective funnel. Now, the queen does eventually go off to the left, and that's exactly where I wanted her to go. In come the miners, basically all of them up here, kind of towards the top of the base. I really... Another thing, another tip. Now, of course, I just lost the queen walk right there, okay? That's fine. It happens. Another tip I wanted to throw in, that is the... Eagle Artillery is just absolutely terrible to miners. Now, the Eagle Artillery, also the Barbarian King, a couple of major units that just manhandle miners, and we don't want that to be happening. So, in this case, it worked out. We got a funnel that worked pretty well, well enough anyway, so that the heal spell kept the miners up. And again, I cannot compare this to an anti-three-star war base, but nonetheless... It felt really, really good to get a 3-star against a Town Hall 12 using Queen Walk Minor. And here's my thought. In CWL, what is the key? The key is the safe 2-star. If you've got a strategy that is going to be a safe 2-star 100% of the time or 99% of the time, and then maybe, maybe it's going to grab the 3-star occasionally then that's the strategy you should be using in CWL. So believe it or not, with a little more practice, Galadon is going to switch from Electro Dragons to Queen Walk Minor, and that is going to be my new thing. So again, we're continuing to practice. You can see here, uh, we almost, we're almost getting three-star victories on anti-three-star war bases. And again, remember, these are much higher level Town Hall 12s than I would be attacking in multiplayer right now. Most of those high-level Town Hall 12s have already moved up the ladder and are way, way ahead of me. But hey, thank you again so much to the members of Lost Phoenix. These guys and gals are so incredibly patient with me, letting me get so many challenges. And then check this one out. That's right, 98% against Foxy's anti-three-star base. So you know... You know it was going to come. Sure enough, here's the base, and we're going to take a closer look at this attack as we start with Coconut Loons. Those are the balloons 
designed to grab seeking air mines out of the way. So those activate any seeking air mines. That way the healers can come in and not get wiped out by one of those seeking air mines. On the top of your screen there, you see the funnel. The giant, the wizards, they cleared those buildings out so that the archer queen guaranteed to go towards the right. So now you kind of see where the funnel is happening. I've got the archer queen pathing down here towards the right. Going to have the barbarian king and the wall wrecker at the very, very top of your screen. They're going to funnel on the right hand side. Did I say right for the archer queen? Well, she's going to her right, but she's going to the left, the bottom left of the screen. So there's the funnel and it looks pretty good. I got to admit right about now. I'm feeling okay. Now, this might have been early. Obviously, not a lot of funneling happening on the right-hand side, but the miners move in, and I've got a rage spell. I've got a freeze on the Inferno Tower. I've got a heal right over the town hall, and then the warden's ability. This is key because, of course, the miners, most of the time, will avoid the Giga Bomb, but they take a lot of damage in the meantime, so I'm trying to hold off. I hit both the king and the queen's abilities. I saw they were in big need of help. And now the Warden's ability, and we get the first star. The Town Hall is eventually going to go down, even though the Warden's ability has expired. Notice that the Town Hall, well, okay. Notice that, okay, I, I got a little bit lucky here. Somehow, I'm not sure how, the Miners kind of avoided, okay, I do know how. It was poor funneling, okay, I will admit it. The Barbarian King did not funnel effectively on the right-hand side. And so what you had was a group of miners that went around and to the right and didn't get to the town hall. So, yeah, things might be bad. And, of course, we were just talking about using a safe two-star in CWL. And then I pull this, which looks like it could be a one-star. But luckily, a little bit more time. Lots of miners still up. And sure enough, Archer Queen. Check out the coconut loons. The loons going in, grabbing two more seeking air mines. Those two definitely would have wiped out my two healers. Instead, I've got a ton of miners, a barbarian king that's barely alive. The healer's going to go try to help him out. The archer queen, she's on her own. She's doing fine. And it looks good. But then watch as the giant bombs go off. The Giga Tesla just annihilates the miners. And now suddenly, I'm not feeling so good. The Barbarian King, the Archer Queen, they're both about to lose their lives. The healers are not able to keep up. The Queen is out of here. It's just up to the King. This is impossibly close. Look at how close this is right now. And the winner is the Barbarian King. I couldn't believe it. The last building to go down is the Town Hall. And somehow, some way, occasionally, even a blind squirrel gets a nut. Galadon picks up a three-star against an anti-three-star war base. But again, I will admit, this did not go as planned. I need to continue to practice. Okay, that could have very well been a 99% one-star, which in CWL is absolutely tragic. Okay, just, just not good. Okay, so I tell you what, what I wanted to do here was go back and break down and take a look at what went right and what went wrong. So now I'm not playing like I really know what's happening as far as where the Seeking Air Mines are. So I'm dropping those Coconut Loons. But you can see the general idea was to get the Barb King top right, the Archer Queen bottom left. We're going to fast forward through some of this. And you see the funneling worked out pretty well. Again, keeping the Queen Walk alive, paying attention with those Rage Spells with the Queen's ability is always critical right here. The good rage spell because she's dealing with a bunch of defenses and now the archer queen is going to come out. You could see the barb king is up here at the top right and that was another problem. It looks like the Valkyries did take out the defending barbarian king and that was a big, big difference. Because remember, the defending barbarian king does absolutely massive amounts of damage and will stall those miners on the surface. Now right here you'll see that air defense is going to stay up as well because most of the miners went to the right and notice the heal spell yeah the heal spell missing about i don't know 80 percent of the miners you can see them right there i mean there's a big luckily for me healthy group of miners and again this is right here a classic example of place the heal spell where the troops are going not where you want them to go they may not be going where you want them to go so you have to pay a close attention to where their pathing is. 
Again, right here, you can see there's a tornado trap. I've got the warden's ability, but I overestimated how much damage that whatever two miners could do right there to the town hall. There's the bulk of the miners. They've already wrapped around just a couple miners left at the town hall. So we get it down to luckily, luckily like, you know, 37.76425%. But here, good heal spell. This time, every single miner is in the heal. And yes, that looks really cool. I just showing that because it looks cool. But no, the Queen Walk is up as well. So luckily, you know, there's a lot of moving parts in an attack like this. And that is where it's so difficult and where it takes so much practice because you have to be doing multiple things at once. And uh, you got to be able to chew gum and walk at the same time. So the Archer Queen, you can see her. She is still alive. This was a little bit of afterthought, dropping these loons in down here. I thought, oh, you know, I'll just kind of see if maybe they can take out that Wizard Tower. No. They don't go for the wizard tower, they go for the cannon, because I wasn't paying attention. But, watch as they move in, they are going to end up saving the healers. As the, there they go, on that archer tower. And where is it? I thought they did. Oh, they're going to move back in. They're going to get that mortar. Now watch this. Here they come. And now the miners, pretty much, there's a ton of miners left. But watch the balloons in the middle of your screen. There you go. That was so close. Both of those Seeking Air Mines were just about to get to the healers. Somehow, uh, I got there instead with the balloons. That was a little bit of luck. And then one does hit a healer anyway. But look right here. So now the Archer Queen is healed to full. The miners are... The, I don't know how many there are, but it looks like there's like 10. It seems like there's no way this is not a 3 star. And now the healers are healing the Barb King back up. We are good to go. But then, a series of giant bombs, and let me tell you, level 5 Giga Tesla. Oh, and a giant bomb right there. Never to be underestimated. Quickly, we are going to lose the Archer Queen because the healers are on the king. And somehow, miraculously, it looks like three healers stay up just long enough for the Barb King to take down the town hall. So yes, I've got a ways to go, but practice makes perfect, alright? And if I eventually get good at this then no, no, we're not nerfing it, all right? Thank you guys for watching. Get ready for more fun new games coming to the channel, including, well, I can't say yet, but you know. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a fantastic day. Red Dead Redemption. See you again tomorrow for more Full Attacks. Streaming Red Dead Redemption on Twitch.tv almost every night this week. I loved the first one. Come watch me play the second one. It's going to be hilarious. Hilarious. Right now, no way, impossible.